What's up guys, welcome back to the October 2022 UK housing market update. So, I have been doing these monthly updates for almost a year and a half now. And one thing I've learned guys, is that people are passionate, passionate about predictions on what the housing market is going to do next. Is the housing market gonna go up or down? Is it going to crash or not? This specific talking point has caused quite the stir in the comment section, specifically on last month's September UK housing market update. In fact, I would actually say the September UK housing market update last month has been the most divisive on record. Go to that video and check out the comment section to see what I'm talking about. In that video, guys, I said that I think that the UK housing market is not going to crash. I fully expect the UK housing market to carry on cooling down. Not only do we need to come down from excessively high heights, but also the effect of the economy, interest rates are going to cause people to start bidding down on properties. It's going to cool down the market. Over. And I'm defining a crash as a 10% or more decline in prices in the last 12 months. I don't think it's going to crash. What I think we're experiencing now is a cooling down in growth. So just to be super clear, I do think prices are going to decrease. I just don't think we're going to see a 10% or greater fall in prices over a 12 month period. I don't think that. What it really boils down to guys is how far is the housing market going to decline? Is it gonna crash or is it just gonna cool slightly? That's really where opinions diverge. But guys, that difference in opinion is causing people to wow out in the comment section. Guys, relax, calm down. And a lot of people will defend their positions and their predictions like they're defending their goal lines in the last minute of the cup final. But the question is, what are we using to base our predictions and our positions on. Is our position looking like a Paolo Maldini or more like a Harry Maguire? So in this month's 2022 October UK housing market update, we're gonna look at what the property market has done, where I think the market is going to go and what I've done from a personal investing perspective in light of what's happening in the economy and the UK housing market. Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Warren. I am a banker here in London and a property investor across the UK. My goal is to live free and independently from property. So I'm looking for an income of £3,000 per month from property to live independently. If that's what you're looking for to subscribe to the channel, that's what my content is all about. So firstly guys, not everybody knows this. I've said this more in past videos, but I haven't said it lately. I studied economics at university, that's what my degree is, and I'm a banker by profession that's my career and I specifically specialize in credit risk so credit risk is the function of a bank that deals with lending and the risks involved in that and I've spent a lot of my career especially early on dealing with distressed portfolios so that's multi-million billion pound loan books that have been lent to customers that are in difficulty due to economic circumstances and it's really the function of a bank that looks at how you can recover as much of those loans from these borrowers in distress that's really the long and short of what credit risk is and I did this for multiple global banks during the global economic 2008 crash through to 20 2015 when I took a hiatus from work. So that's really been the focus of my career. And over those years, I've worked with multiple, multiple banks and companies. For example, I've worked with UK large corporates and SME, that's small and medium enterprises in the business recovery of a global bank to manage them out of their distressed debt scenarios. So working with insolvency practitioners, accountants and lawyers. I've worked with Irish banks. If you know anything about the 2008 crash, you know that the Irish economy was in big trouble and I worked with one of their banks to restructure their credit risk function because they weren't lending responsibly. I spent time at Lehman Brothers guys to unravel their bankrupt European investment banking entity. I did time at RBS to separate out their non-performing loan book and I spent time as a consultant within US and UK commercial property companies to help them rate their non-performing mortgages and advise them whether they should retain or exit those specific loans. So guys, I've done my time. I'm pretty well versed on micro and macroeconomic trends, especially when it comes to economic recessions. And I've got specific experience across multiple industries, including banking, property, retail, and others, guys. So that's my credentials. Not saying that to boast, guys, but when I'm making these predictions about what I think is gonna happen and what direction the economy and the property market's going in, I've worked in real life 
scenarios during real life crashes and I've seen this before. But of course guys, that's not to say that I cannot be wrong. This is my opinion. I am more than open to being wrong about this. This is just my opinion. I'm not saying this is gonna happen. So guys, when you're responding in the comments, keep in mind, this is my opinion based on working in this industry, based on working in recessions before, based on working in property markets before, but it's still not gospel, okay? So let's move on to what's happened in the UK property market in October 2022. So what's happened in the UK property market this month? So we've just seen a dip in the property market a slight dip no surprises there i predicted that last month but most importantly we've seen two big developments in the uk housing market for october we have seen firstly a rise in the base rate from 1.75 percent to 2.25 percent what's that going to mean that's going to mean that once again we're going to see a rise in the cost of people's variable rate mortgages and also in their fixed rate mortgages when those terms come to an end so that usually has an effect on uk property prices but guys i think overriding that even bigger is the latest UK mini budget announcement by Quasi Quateng. That's going to have effects on the UK housing market in that we've just seen stamp duty threshold changes. So the threshold for home buyers has risen from £125,000 to £250,000. So for the first £250,000, if you're buying a home, there is no stamp duty to pay. If you're a first time buyer, that's risen to £425,000. So what does this mean for the UK housing market? Well, we saw this happen, guys, during the global health pandemic, where we saw a stamp duty holiday. This is now a permanent, a permanent change. It's not a temporary one. And what what happened when we saw this stamp duty holiday introduced during the global health crisis? Well, we saw UK house prices rise. We saw a unprecedented growth in prices. So what does that mean for the overall market? Well, as I said in my past, three, four, five videos, I do not feel we're gonna see a crash in the UK housing market. This bit of legislation that's just been introduced by the Chancellor is gonna further back that up. In fact, I think that house prices are gonna to continue to rise over the medium to long term. We're gonna see a cooling off towards the end of the year in the housing market. But this change to the stamp duty thresholds, I believe is going to fuel the UK housing market even more. And we're gonna see more growth, especially as we go into 2023. But let me know, what you think in the comment sections below. Now guys, what have I personally done? We've seen what's happening in the property market and in the economy. What have I done as it relates to property? Well guys, I have just bought another house in Manchester at auction. I'll link to the videos where I went and viewed it and I was bidding at the auction, but I bought another house guys. That is what I've done in this current environment. It was an auction purchase. The strategy that I'm using is BRRR, so that's buy, refurbish, refinance and rent it's a two bed freehold property oh and by the way be sure to subscribe to see my refurb journey with that property because I'm going to document everything you'll see how it is now the condition that it's in you're going to see how I refurb it you're going to see the end product and how it does on the market I'm going to show you everything no holds bars in a highly desirable area of Manchester. So guys, I'm not just sitting here making predictions behind a camera and uploading videos to YouTube. I am backing this up with my actual investments. This is tens of thousands of pounds that I'm spending on these properties. So why have I chosen to invest? Well guys, based on the data, as I said before, I think that the market is cooling down but I think the market's gonna keep growing over the next six months, and more importantly, over the long term. Yes, we are seeing a decline in prices at this moment in time. The market's cooling down, that's what happens towards the end of the year. However, you've seen from earlier on in this video that the job market is still solid, and that's one of the main metrics that I look at to indicate a full-on recession, not just in the economy, but also in the property market. Mortgage applications are just returning to their long-term average prior to the global health crisis. So I don't believe that we're heading for a crash. If I believe that we were heading for a crash, I would wait to purchase. Of course I would, it would make perfect sense, guys. I would wait to purchase when prices are even lower. If a crash is coming, that's a perfect time to be an investor, guys. Um, I like crashes, obviously not for the negative effects that it has on homeowners, and the economy at large. But as an investor, you're essentially buying assets that make you rich at a discounted price. It is great to be an investor during a crash, but I don't believe a crash is happening. I believe that, as I said, over the next six to 12 months, prices are gonna keep on going up. So it makes sense for me 
to invest now. Whilst there is a cooling down in prices, there's less competition. People are not bidding up prices as crazily as they were six, 12 months ago. So this is a good time to buy, which is why I bought guys. And also very importantly, interest rates guys, they're going up, right? So the longer I wait, the more expensive it becomes to own property. Mortgage payments are gonna be higher when interest rates are higher. I would rather buy now before there are further increases in interest rates, which I believe are coming, so that I can lock in a good rate now for the next few years. So guys, that has been this month's UK October 2022 housing market update. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, guys. Again, this is a divisive topic in terms of what we think is going to happen next. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you think that we're in for a cool down and a return to normal growth or if you think we're in for a full-on crash. As I said, a crash being a 10% decline in UK property market prices. And just for context, by the way, guys, the most that the UK property market has ever, ever reduced in a 12 month period since records began in the 1960s is 15.6%. And that happened in 2009, when we saw the last major economic crash. So let me know if you think that we're gonna experience something similar over the next 12 months. I would love to know your opinions on that. And I'll see you guys soon.